Before jumping into the, the details of what LifeRay has built for GDPR, allow me to reiterate something we have been stressing in papers, uh, blogs, and talks. GDPR compliance cannot, or let me repeat, cannot be achieved by simply checking off a list of technical requirements. True compliance requires business to adopt both a, an organizational and a technical practice of a, a greater sense of protection for their uh, users' personal data. This may include things like training personnel, auditing stored uh, user data, establishing data breach strategies, or, or even appointing a, a data protection officer. Beware of vendors that apparently provide these turnkey miraculous solutions for GDPR compliance regardless of what they promise. No such solution really exists. So GDPR is and remains a responsibility of your enterprise. We, we can assist, but uh, we will not solve the development of these GDPR requirements. We have been working in easing your life in regards to GDPR, okay? So in particular with data anonymization and data portability of user data. So these are two of the most difficult GDPR requirements to handle, and they will be available out of the box in LifeRay DXP. So first, the right to be forgotten or the right to erasure uh, requires organizations to delete uh, a user personal data upon his or her request. So there are some exclusions, of course, like data the organization has a legitimate reason to retain, like financial records or public interest data. And second, the right to data portability. And this requires organizations to provide a machine-readable export of a user's personal data upon his or her request. So we now have uh, an admin uh, user interface that uh, will give you more control over this entire process and also APIs that you can extend to fit uh, your internal processes. These are just the first steps of data focus or data related uh, privacy GDPR concerns that we are planning to, to bring into the platform. And by the way, for the current users of DXP, rest assured that all these uh, components, anonymization and data portability, will be available in DXP 7.0 also. So again, let me jump into the, the, the Alive, uh, LifeRay DXP instance to show you how it's done. I will go into a new instance here on new browser. I will connect as, not as Rui, but as a new user. So this is the admin user. And remember that I have here some blog posts. I have some information that this user, uh, Rui, has been interacting uh, on, on this portal. So Rui has requested me to, be, uh, to, to have all this information about himself uh, here on the portal. So I have the option now, if I go here into the control panel, users, and on the information of that user, I have here the option to either export his personal data or delete his personal data. So if I go into export his personal data, I can create uh, an option to export all the information that we have on Rui. So in this case, I see that I have some blog posts, some documents that he uploaded, and some wikis that he's been interacting. And now I can export this into a readable format that he will have access uh, and you will see what information do we have on him. But instead of doing that, I will just delete this user also from the system. So Rui doesn't want to show um, information or blog posts or wikis, whatever, uh, in, in, our, in our portal. So he requested us to delete all his personal information, uh, that, uh, all the personal information that we have on him from the portal. So we now have this interface uh, where we can first, we, we have a series of steps uh, where first we deactivate the user, okay? So the user has been deactivated, so now he cannot log in anymore. Now, the second step is I will delete his personal site. And 
on the third step, I will review all the information that I have on him. And again, like the exports, I have one blog post, the one that you saw on the main page, I have documents and media, and I have a wiki. So now I can review each one of these uh, components and uh, understand what I have to do with them. So in this case, either I delete these blog posts or view it, or I anonymize it. So in this case, I will anonymize the blog posts and documents and media also, and I will anonymize also the wiki, okay? And I will complete this step. Now I will say on the fourth step, I will anonymize all the data and finally I will delete the user. So the user is no more. Rui doesn't exist uh, in, in my organization. So now if I just go, if I just sign out and go again on, on the main page, I see that that blog post now it doesn't belong to to Rui. Uh, it belongs to anonymous. So this can be configured in terms of uh, the anonymization process. What happens to each asset, to each component? But basically, all the traces of Rui have been deleted, uh, have been anonymized from from our portal. Okay, and this was this is one of the requirements that uh, that you need to to respond when a user requests that from you, okay?